Welcome back, my writer friends. How are you guys doing? All right, so for today's video, we're gonna be talking about marketing strategies for freelance writing. All right, so if you're new to freelance writing and you wanna gain some freelance writing jobs or content writing jobs or copywriting jobs, <laughs> you need to be marketing yourself online. Now, just to let you know, my name is Alma from almakane.com and if you like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for freelance writing advice from a mom to twins. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so I get that you're here because you are a writer, total into writing, you love writing, but you don't know how to market yourself. You think it's icky, it's gross, like, oh, it's slimy. I don't want to talk about myself. It's too hard. I totally get that. I was that when I first started. I had no idea how to market myself. But once I learned those skills, they became tools for me to land really good freelance writing jobs. If you want to get started as a copywriter, as a content writer, as a freelance writer, let's check out these marketing strategies for you. The first thing is to start a blog. Yes, I know you probably hear that all over the place, but how are people going to find you if you don't have a home base, your own home online? Sure, you can leverage social media. You can leverage other portfolio sites, but what if they close shop? What if they no longer are free? What if you have to pay to be on that platform? It's unstable to rely on your entire business on those free platforms. Even if you sign up for like a free blog, it's still very, like for me, I mean, I want to appear legit and professional and I want to have control of my own marketing strategies online. I don't want to rely on other platforms to sell me. So if you're on Upwork, Fiverr, I don't even know, TaskRabbit, Guru, Text Broker, all these other freelance platforms that really don't value freelancers at all, I suggest you get off of those platforms and start a blog. You will have so much more success when you control what's being put out for you, okay? If you're interested, hop on over to elnacane.com. It's the first blog post there. Here's elnacane.com. And if you just scroll down, I walk you through, even with a video tutorial of how you can start your blog, which is your writer website. So take a look at that. The next marketing strategy that you can use as a writer is to get on social media. You can leverage those social platforms, even if they you know, are pay to play, even if they shut down, as long as you have a few social platforms that you're on, then you'll be safe. I found over the years that I have been, I've added more social media profiles as the years went by. But when I first started, I used Twitter and LinkedIn. If you need help with finding clients on LinkedIn, make sure to check out my video here after you finish watching this video. All right, so those are the two biggest platforms that I suggest all new writers start so that you can find your ideal client and you can engage with brands on those platforms. Down the road, you can start a Facebook page, you can get on Instagram, you can start Pinterest. There's a lot of other profiles and platforms that you can try, but in the beginning, just stick to Twitter and LinkedIn and your own writer website. So you might be wondering, well, what do I do on these platforms? What do I share on Twitter? What do I do on LinkedIn? Things like that. Be authentic on those platforms, share blog pieces. Maybe there's a blog you really want to write for. So you're going to share their content on Twitter. You might connect with brands on LinkedIn, check out who they're hiring. Maybe you might find out their content manager. You might make a list. There's lots of things you can do on those platforms to find your ideal client. But I also want you to realize that a lot of brands use your online presence as a factor to hiring you. So I don't want you to dismiss this whole uh, marketing strategy tip because you are afraid to get on social media or you really don't want to get down that rabbit hole. You can really just streamline your social media strategy by just having those two platforms and telling yourself, I'm going to only post on Twitter once a week on LinkedIn once a week kind of thing, or spend an hour two times a week to really dive into those platforms and use it to its full advantage. What you want to do though, is grow those channels because a lot of brands will look to their writers to see, are they a big influencer on social media? Can I leverage them to share our content? This is exactly what happened when Walmart reached out to me. They were really interested in my Pinterest 
in analytics and my brand on Pinterest and my growth on Pinterest because I did have a good profile and I still do have a good profile on that platform. I'm trying to grow on Instagram. So maybe in a, a year from now, I'll have lots of followers and brands will reach out to me at that point too, right? So it's in your best interest to cultivate your social media profile so that you they can help you land gigs, all right? Another marketing strategy that you can use as a writer is to get to know other writers in your industry. So this is exactly what I did. I didn't know my niche in the beginning, so I just reached out to popular writers that I saw on Twitter, on Facebook, on blogs that I saw that writers were on. I also connected with other freelancers in general. So, you know, find those graphic designers and follow them on social media. Find those copywriters on Facebook groups and follow them. Maybe you want to follow social media managers, maybe even coaches. These freelancers that are out there, connect with them somehow, make a list so that you know who they are and get to know them because a graphic designer may have a writing job. And if you are connected with them and they will remember you, they'll email you and say, hey, my latest client, I'm developing five pages for them and they want a blog. I Are you interested in this blog gig, right? So this is what you wanna do when you first start is just to connect yourself with other types of freelance writers, content writers, copywriters, and other freelancers. All right, the next marketing strategy that you can use as a writer is to guest post. Guest post is a fabulous opportunity to get your writing out there. Now remember, just because you have writing on your, on your own website doesn't mean that everyone's gonna view it. You need to push your writing out there. And the easiest way to do that is with guest posting. Now, if you want a very quick way to guest post is to jump on Medium. So for example, on Medium here is a, a publication that you can write on. Right here, it says, write for us. So the Live Your Life on Purpose publication has a lot of writers. And what's great is that if you sign up to Medium to their platform, I think it's $5 a month to get access to the full platform, then you can write for these publications. Many of them want to pay you. So they always ask, well, now, are you signed up to Medium so that your content based on the views and the engagement, you will get paid for that. All right, and another marketing strategy for writers is to listen to podcasts and YouTube videos. You will find that many podcasts will interview other businesses and brands. So go ahead and follow other podcasters. Take a look to see, are they interviewing, you know, big brands, big influencers and all that so that you can listen to those podcasts. And what you can do is get some insider knowledge about that person so that when you reach out to them later on, maybe a month later, you can reference that podcast or you can reference things in that podcast. Maybe that person mentions that down the pipeline is a new product that they're going to unveil. You can mention that in your pitch to them, right? Maybe that client talked about how they started their business and how you admire that. You can mention that in your pitch, right? To personalize your writing pitch, I suggest you do these things. So get on, uh, look at YouTube. There are also lots of interviews on YouTube. Maybe the business that you want to write for has a YouTube channel. You can learn about that product, their brand, their message on YouTube and with podcasting. So make sure you to check out those avenues to help you with your marketing strategy, to understand your ideal client and to get yourself out there. All right. I hope you found these marketing strategies helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below. Do you have a Twitter profile, a LinkedIn profile? Do you have your own writer website? Let me know and make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more freelance writing advice. I'll see you in the next video.